But the ammo one, oh my god, those dice. Holy moly. One goes kind of crazy. I really like the art for the ammo one. It's so cute. Orkin. The year emotes. We're changing the probabilities and. Esports bundle. The proceeds. Oh. Oh, there's new ones for this season. Oh, wow. I'm going to take this release for all teams on the 26th, so tomorrow. Lenny, Shoichi. Bro, fucking... Luminal doesn't even play Shoichi anymore, man. Like... <laughs> but I mean, I guess their, like, team was, like, founded on, on, on the Shoichi, you know? This one's kind of cute. It's, like, a credit. He's holding, like, a credit. Lonzo crying. Here I say Jung. Oh, it's supposed to be, oh, this is supposed to be a uh, fucking Danana, like during, uh, like, like, like when they won. <laughs> That's kind of funny. This one's kind of cute. It's like hard pouting. Who is this character, by the way? I don't know who this is. Is this just like BNK Ferex's mascot? Is it Tia? I think it's an OC or something. Is it Tia? Tia Eternal. Does she have uh, yellow eyes? She does. It, it is probably Tia then. Or it's an OC. And Bianca. Smug Bianca. Emote wheel sets. You can now... Switch between present by scrolling. Oh, that's kind of nice. That's really nice. That's really nice. And then you could, uh, you could hopefully get hockey instead. So if you don't like the scroll, like if you accidentally scroll to your mouse wheel, then you could, uh, could like keep on it to something else. Nice. You get three, you could use like all your emotes now. Craft priority improvements. Improving the priority uh, for quick crafting to make it more convenient for materials. Now, if materials overlap, weapons will be crafted first. Uh, I thought that was always the case. I guess not. Weapons, then armor, then consumables. Okay, so it's always weapon first. I mean, usually you don't craft weapon first anyways. You usually craft, like, boots first. But, I mean, weapon craft first is always good, too, because you, you want to get, like, the damage to uh, to kill animals on your route if you do need, like, like, the leather and stuff. So, that's a good change. That's a good change. Item will be displayed in order. Yeah, yeah. Dance of Season 6. Uh, okay. Spectator mode. Hockeys for hiding nicknames. That's good for Spectator. Matchmaking improvements. Meteorites will no longer match with diamond or under. Mithril players will now match less with meteorite players. However, they, they will still match together if the queue becomes excessively long. Hey, okay, yes. We got the D2 plus queues for NA. And it looks like EU server Mithril queue is widening. So. It's like the opposite of us. We're having like tighter matchmaking and like theirs is getting wider because they can't pop in Mithril, I think, right now. Credit charge mode, wait time if a player approaches Lumi uh, within 3 meters, 15 to 12. Oh, so you can't uh, hold the credit charge mode now? Well, I'll just start moving. Was this even an issue? I don't even think this was that big of an issue, but I guess it would like stall the bot. Um, Accelerator, cooldown buff, carnivore, extra HP for carnivore, wow. Stopping power cooldown, one second, that's really good. And here we go, Garnet! Let's see the Garnet nerf. 2% on the W. And they did nerf the R to 20%. I knew it. I knew it. 
What did I say? I, this was the exact nerf I was talking about. They're just gonna nerf the, the execute down to like five percent. But I'm surprised they nerfed W again. But I mean, the W heal is like a lot. Two percent on W. Honestly, she's still gonna be fine. I don't think this change will. I don't think it's like that bad. This this is like. This is like the the minor nerf I was talking about, where I think like 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 now she'd be probably balanced. Burner players didn't hit R anyways, nothing burger nerf. Yeah, I think a lot of the times, like, you don't execute at 25%. You execute at, like, maybe 15, 10% because people aren't spamming R. But for, like, I mean, I mean, for, like, higher elo, I think this nerf is somewhat big, but, like, it's not, like, that big because, like, it's still 20% execute. It's still pretty good. I mean, the, the, the W nerf is the bigger one, right? You lose, like, about, like, let's say, let's say you have, like, 3k HP, you lose about, like, 60 HP per W, which is, which is like, you know, a decent bit of HP. I'd say use W like three times a fight. That's like 180 HP gone. I think this nerf is probably like, it's like the perfect nerf since I don't think she was like OP anymore, but like she was still strong. And then this is probably going to put her in line. Nadine, oh, 0.2% is a lot. And they're nerfing the max. Attack speed for Monkey Wire, okay. This is a pretty big uh, damage nerf for ADC. Good Nikki buff, 5%. Uh, extra parry damage reduction. Okay, I mean, I don't think Nikki was doing that great. E damage as well, sure. Daniel nerf, 0 0.3 basic attack cap, which is a lot as well. Yo, Yamada, appreciate the raid, man. How's it going? How's it going? We're, just going in, we're just going through patch quickly before... Uh, we call it on our end. Darko nerf. So we predicted Darko nerf. How many did we get? Did we get already? We got like all like Garnet nerf. Uh, we're not at the Noir yet. Garnet nerf. Darko nerf. Daniel nerf. Nadine nerf. I mean, it's pretty easy to like tell who's getting nerf when you're reading like patch. Laura is buffed. Oh. 2.2 defense per level, so level 20, that's 4 defense, and 0.2 weapon mastery. That's actually not bad. And extra damage on a Q. I think they did over nerf uh, Laura, so honestly, not down for a buff. I don't think I've seen anyone playing Laura after like the nerfs. Uh, Lennox nerf. Wow, the shield duration is going down to 2 seconds. I mean, the shield usually it gets popped anyways. So it's probably fine. Like usually, like the shield duration usually doesn't run out. Usually, like you lose the damage, but the blue, the blue, blue viper damage uh, nerf is a lot. So it's like ten per tick. Oh, you know? uh, we're gonna go over to darko nerf. It's just some damage on five percent attack power and damage up to thirty damage on E. So just losing some damage. Fine. Not like a huge nerf on darko. Honey's getting extra healing on Q and movement speed increase 2% on W. Sure. Oh my god. Oh my god. A 0.4 skill amp nerf. That is huge. I mean, why was it 5% anyways? Like, what the fuck is this? Like, I think uh, Tom Falian had the highest skill, uh, skill amp in the game. A 0 0.4 is, is huge for amp characters. Deserved. Oh, you're right. Six six percent for Lenny W. That's actually kind of big. That's actually really good. Cause you're basically at like rank rank four, and like you don't level W, right? You level W last. This is really good for like Lenny's uh or like early game. It's like I seem like at level twenty, uh, it doesn't really matter. And you're like when you have like all your skill points, though. It's only like a two percent buff, which is pretty minuscule. But yeah, I didn't even notice it was a six percent on level one. Uh, Rozzy is getting buffed. I'm surprised Rozzy's getting buffed because I feel like Rozzy isn't that bad with like the radar change, but I mean, it's, it's like a 10% for W. Fine. Uh, cooldown for E early game. I mean, I guess it does, this, this doesn't matter since you don't level E, but like at level 20, the same. Luke is getting buffed. Getting 0.2 basic attack amp. That is a lot. 
That's a lot. <laughs> Going to basic attack amp. And then also attack speed. Uh-oh. I think Luke players are going to be doing a lot more damage. I think Luke's stats were kind of shit though. Yeah, they were pretty bad. I think it's because a lot of people are playing, uh, and yeah, not tank. But I mean, even tank, like tank Luke, like I feel like it's like somewhat easy to play around if your team is good, but it's not if your team is terrible. If your team is bad and just let like Luke do whatever he wants, like it's, it's really easy for him to just 1v3 basically. But yeah, I don't like tank like Pen Luke is so easy to deal with because you just fucking kill him when he goes. But Tank Luke lives for a while. Like I think Tank Luke is good, but Pen Luke sucks, which is why they're buffing Luke. I mean, we'll have to see. Uh oh, they're just nerfing uh no. I wonder if they're gonna nerf Cataclysm or not then. Uh is the Q the thing she throws out because if this if this is this hits three times so that's a pretty big nerf and damage per q oh five okay yeah so like 10 10 uh 50 damage off they buffed the early game though but like the late game i mean you max it right like first like you always max it like there's no way you don't max it so it's like just like a minus 10 damage Wait, I just searched up uh, Noir and I found someone. Are oh, you max Q? <laughs> so it says it's just minus fifty damage. I mean, yeah, that's, that's a pretty good nerf. And then the E is the is a little um suck thingy. Is that's getting nerfed? Thirty damage late game. I think you max is second if I'm not mistaken. If you beyond first, it's still half damage. I mean, it's still a lot, like a lot that she's losing. Oh, they're buffing Dylan W. And Rio buff. I mean, Rio stats are pretty bad right now, and I think she's kind of weak. I'm not surprised. What are they buffing? Just base damage? Okay. Oh, I have a uh, percent damage amp from her passive. Yeah, but she's losing out on like a lot of damage, like base damage. But base damage nerfs are big. Actually, they're not like that big, but like I think for for uh, Noir it is because this Q hits four uh, five times, so it's like minus fifty. Like a fifty base damage nerf is is a lot. And Martina is getting extra movement speed and more damage on R. Interesting. Okay, so Martina buff. I'm surprised Martina's getting buffed. I feel like she's just underplayed. But they're just giving her the like, quality of life so she can move, she can move around faster. Yeah, I feel like just no one plays her because I don't know. I, I feel like a lot of people just don't like her character design. Why is it that they're still leaving rapiers unchanged for a long time? I mean, I have no idea. My defense buff. Why is it in four defense? He does not gone nerfed ever. I need to make every character Kumar. This game is so cancer. When you have dog shit characters like Martina, she will never be played or nerfed. Ah! I mean, she has like a niche, but yeah, I do think Martina's just uh like a sleeper pick. Like, I'm pretty sure she's not bad, but I mean, I don't think the nerf is the nerf does look kind of big though, no? For like her R damage, I don't know how big this is, but like it sounds pretty big. But I mean, a lot of the time, Martina Martina's R. Is hit isn't really like hit or like used, um, like while you're in range, it's used to like vision cheese you, right? Like, Martinez will charge your R out of range, like out of vision, and then they'll like be in, and then you know, you get stunned and you insta die. 
So this like rewards them for like using it in range, which is fine, I think. And like the Martina change it doesn't seem that big. I mean the main the main buff is like the movement speed buff, I think. 0 0.5 uh, 0 0.5 movement speed is like a decent bit. Especially for a character like Martina. Uh Marcus, extra HP. Magnus. Wow, Magnus getting extra defense. It's like six extra defenses as well. I wonder if that will give him an extra spin. Uh, because if it's if it does that, uh, that might be a pretty big uh pretty big buff. Uh Vanya slow, 10%. Sure. Barbara is getting a buff as well. Uh just extra movement speed and 5% amp. Okay. Bernice buff. Uh, they buffed the damage on trap by 15%. Three basic attack power. Okay, that's pretty pretty small. Bianca is getting a buff on her W healing. Sure. Selena is getting nerfed on her R damage by 10 base. Pretty small nerf. Actually, this is 10 per bomb. Actually, actually, it's pretty big nerf. It's like 40 damage on her R. You 4 bomb it. Not a bad nerf. Joichi, 40 HP. Adela. You cooldown by 0 0.175. Can't tell how big this change is going to be. Because uh, like an ability would already short cooldown to, to like shorten it even more. Yeah, I can't tell. I can't tell. I don't, I don't really play Adela. Sounds pretty good. Uh, Adriana buff on her W early game. Down her. Uh, Adina W damage buff. Well, w nerf actually five percent. Pretty pretty small. Arda is losing zero point two weapon mastery, ten percent damage on E, and rooted duration by uh zero point two percent. So a lot of Arda nerfs all around. I think the E damage isn't. I mean, I guess you do use E to do some damage too, but like that, that is a lot of nerfs for Arda. Overall, it's probably like, it's probably like a, like a sizable nerf. Like, yeah, e cooldown, two seconds, ice soul, 0.3 defense per level. So a level 26 defense, not bad, but it is like an ADC. So he's still going to die anyways. Isaac is getting max HP damage on his passive by 1% extra. Pretty good. An extra damage on his E. Lonzo's getting less damage on his Q. And oh my god, another DR nerf for his W. Bro, the shit was at like 80% for so long, and now it's down to 70, and then now they're reducing that to 60. Bro, the fucking DR shit, like... It's so, like, you can't do anything when, like, if Alonzo presses W in front of you and you're, like, trying to play front to back, he just blocks, like, everything, man. What like, Garnett. Like, obviously his is, like, longer, but Garnet Garnet gets his, uh, hers up, like, a lot faster. Uh, Overflow, extra damage, a Sidewinder, R cooldown, Black Mamba, R cooldown. Eki on buffs. They're buffing dual sword Jackie or du dual sword Yuki damage. There's auto attack damage and they're nerfing Kuda Gras. Okay. Uh. Using the power of E Amethyst Law at lower levels. However, she is strong late game. Okay, so they're just buffing her early game damage. What the fuck does E even do on, on, on EVA? Like for damage. I didn't even know it gave damage. Oh, okay. So they moved the old passive to her E and then the new passive is like the E. The E like auto attack. Okay, okay. You have to have E active when you're using abilities for the, for the extra like little balls that, that fly out. Eleven buff, while there while there's a skin, 
Hmm. Oh, there's the Epic Sin coming out. Hmm. <laughs> Not surprised. Not surprised, you know? The Mulan has got to do what they got to do. The here, the here is getting nerfed, so someone in chat was right. They lost 5% uh, damage on W. Is she really bad right now? I think he's okay. Let me check. I thought her stats were actually like... But they were like, okay. And yeah, these look fine. 14% win rate, 1% pick rate. Up a thousand. 16% pick rate, 1% pick rate. Uh, let's do seven days. Hey, I mean, every game does it, you know? I don't, I'm not blaming them on their own. Yeah, this is good. Cause it's like a minor buff too. It's not even like it's a huge buff. And yeah, this is, this is good. Percent. No game does it. Okay, maybe, maybe, maybe I'm just being biased. What was a good amount of SP used to justify circular? Um, if you if you care to spam's abilities, maybe maybe my views are a little skewed. But they didn't even give a reasoning. They didn't say you know like eleven showing you know low stats. They just say that we're increasing 11's damage output. No fuck it. Uh, lowering W. So that's look fine. It's probably just like a random, like, buff. Jenny, point two. Okay, so they're just nerfing Jenny. Point two, skill lamp, and E cooldown by one second. I mean, I mean, it's probably it's probably not what we're thinking because like they nerfed uh what was it? They nerfed like Demo when she was good, even though she was getting her skin. Yeah, down to four percent. That's kind of crazy. Uh, our cooldown. Oh wow! By ten percent, uh, ten seconds, and then three damage. Okay, at the dagger. I think most people are playing her dual sword. Anyways, are people playing her dual sword actually? People playing her dual sword. Uh, can it suppressed rage damage increase? Oh, so just extra damage on her Q. Chloe, Nina passive, Kiara. Oh my god, that is a lot is a lot of defense that Kiara is getting. Maybe Kiara is is gonna be OP now. <laughs> I know I know EU is not happy about this. But like this Kiara character kinda sucks. That's about that's eight defense at level twenty. So that's like one like holy water. Pretty good. Honestly, like a really a really big buff, especially for like a drink tank like Kiara. He was definitely not happy about, about that one. That one for sure. Yolo point two. Oh no, that's not Pilo Priya. Pilo's uh right off. I read, I read that one. Oh, okay, Pilo's uh Pilo's just just getting buffed. W cooldown and then point two skill out. Wow, Fiora is getting ten percent cooldown reduction when she procs passive again. 10% extra cooldown. That might be pretty big. I mean, no one really plays Fiora, though. 4 HP. Sure. Oh my god, here's the Ampion Wound nerf. 0.3 skill amp. That is a lot, too. They just hit fucking Hyunwoo and uh, Leon, like, so hard. And they nerfed Cataclysm. My god. It's an annex exactly almost like what I said. It's, it's like, I said 10%, but it looks like it's like 5%. 
but what I I did say they were gonna they were gonna do like one level or one per like character level and then like ten percent, but it's like five percent. So it's 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 a, it's a close enough. Bro, I think I'm just a genius. I don't know. Also, they're increasing the range of E. Oh shit. Hey, Jenny, that's kind of big. Damn, it's gonna be even bigger, like even more of a hyperloop now. 8.5 meters? That's kind of crazy. And increasing the speed of the projectile as well. That's, that's actually kind of big for Yejin. Point 0.3 and then nerfing passive. Oh, they're buffing the healing from. Oh no, the damage for passive for a uh, like glove build. Nerfing it for amp. I mean, Love Can was still gonna be the same, but yeah, they nerfed. Uh, Jin and GTA also got nerfed. Holy fuck! How many, how many nerfs did they get hit with? Cataclysm, Obsidian GTA, and Hyunwoo and Leon. Like Hyunwoo and Leon, on far are both like are both gone. Control F Tonfa made you happy. <laughs> Six Tonfa nurse. Holy moly. Control Jack is getting a buff. Yeah, no one's really building this shit. Blood Cloak nerf. Wisdom Robes buff. Wow. Wait. Wisdom Robes might actually be better now then. Or it might actually be good. 10% extra attack speed. I know the comparison is Wisdom Robes for like... Uh... Armin, I think? Or was it Gilly Suit? Uh, wisdom... 30% now. So the difference is 16% attack speed. You get the extra movement speed and attack speed. Alt. Guns are uh, not bad anymore. The extra HP for radar, they buffed radar. I mean, HP, the HP that you get from radar is kind of fake anyways. But it's kind of nice. They're giving uh, these a little more sustain. This is, like, you get hit with, like, so much random poke, and then you just die. You watch, okay, mid quiver. No one's building mid quiver. You watch 5%. EOD boots? No! My beloved EOD boots! How good they, how good they. But this shit was so fucking broken. Good nerf, good nerf. I think it's, is that it? That's it. Two are not touched. Honestly, good changes. Bro, can you not add commands that I don't approve of? I don't really. I think the Adela buff is pretty big. Yeah. That's okay, you get out. I don't really care. Administration is not a penalty type that restricts matches. This will not be able to play tutorials. I don't think the auto translator. I don't think they said the auto translator uh thing is 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 getting uh, added this season, right? It should be next season. What does this mean? We're adding a new penalty type that restricts rank matches for certain infractions. What does this mean? Reports, reports, dodge, like dodging, like what, like, it, like this, this could be in so many different things, like. Like like what well, like which infraction? I 
Any champions maybe not ranked? Probably. You know. That could be it. Maybe if you get banned too many times. No longer uh, to play disabled characters. Chat bans a thing? I don't know. Man, I don't get hit with bans. So I haven't got hit in, like a ban. I'm a clean, humble uh, player. I've never been banned before. My record is is clean. I mean, not really much this batch. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, they did they did hit everything that uh, that was good. So it's a it's a definitely a good patch. Like like a good balance batch. Right, like almost every every character like up here like got hit except for like demo. But demo stats aren't like aren't showing that she's like good. She 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 just played a lot. But like nerf, nerfed, 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 nerfed. Nerfed. And then Cataclysm got nerfed. Might end up OP in power vacuum. What are we talking about? I think I got buff from Augment. Oh yeah, I think I got um accelerator buff. Oh, demo. I mean, I think she's good, but like, I don't think she's OP. Like, her stats are pretty average. She, she, she just, she's always just played a lot because, you know, she's like really fun to play for like a lot of care, like a lot of people. She has like a lot of depth in her kit while also, you know, not being like too difficult. Like your skill floor is is pretty low, but your skill ceiling is really high. Not demo skin. Um. But yeah, like all these characters nerfed. All these five: Daniel, Arco, Ar uh, Arda. Like literally, uh, six no eight out of the nine got nerfed. And then, uh, did, wait, let us didn't get, get touched, right? Oh yeah, let, did not, let us get... Oh no, 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 let us also got nerfed too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nine out of the ten. And then Jenny. Good batch, good batch. But you know what that means, right? When all these characters get nerfed that are doing too much damage, when they're nerfing damage. You know what that means? That means uh, it's indirect... Indirect buffs to drain tanks. <laughs> when damage is a lot lower, drain tanks become stronger, so... Good patch, good patch. That's what I like to see. But I mean, they did, they did hit like all the characters that uh, were strong, so. Overall, like, like, it's a really good patch. I don't think they missed like any character, honestly. Like, what, are there any other standout characters that were strong that they missed? I don't think so, right? They, they, they hit every, every single one. What are you? <laughs> Buffett, Luke, and nerfing Garnet. Bro, they really need to... Like, the KRs really need to just play tank Luke, man. Like, swallow your pride. Swallow your ego. Fuck pen Luke. Up on the tank wave. And then, like, Luke's stats will actually be, like, pretty good. I don't think they... I don't think he would be broken, though. But he would, like... He, he would just have, like, solid stats and, like... They, like, wouldn't nerf or, like, wouldn't touch him. They're playing fucking pen. This Luke, this pen Luke shit dies in like two seconds. I 
think Luke makes everyone look good. <laughs> exactly, and they're giving him uh, a lot of damage. This is a, this is a pretty big buff, by the way. What's next? Nine to be OP, probably Cardia. I think Cardia was like uh, the next ADC in line. I think Cardia still has good stats too. This is a pretty big buff, like zero point two basic attack count. The attack speed is like whatever. Luke, weak, bro, they're, look at this shit, man, like, they're playing fucking full armor pen, man, like, of course he's getting fucking buffed. Just look, just look. Even that tank item. Yo, it's Banneret, bro. They, bro. Um, Rootcake just needs to sit on top of 1000 and start playing tank, and then his stats show up here, and then everyone's gonna swap, you know? <laughs> oh, I guess Sis was, uh, I mean, this assist doesn't even appear in, like, the top 20. I, I do think Sis needs a nerf, like, at least, bro, Sis. Battle suit 3.6, attack armor 4.0. Okay, Rootcake is winning. The more he wins, the more, the more KR will, will, will realize how OP tank is because his build will show up in the, in like, in like what people are building and then, uh, and then his time is over. Bro, I mean, like, the thing is, though, like, Luke, <laughs> it's funny because, like, they, they, they almost caught on. Like, last season, they were building, like, Bruiser Luke, and, like, half of the people were building Bruiser, and then for some reason, now they're just back onto full pen. Like, I don't get it. But I guess Bruiser Luke was kind of weak uh, early season because of the ADCs, so they probably thought we need to one-shot these ADCs. But now that, like, damage is back at a, at an all-time low, I think... I think Luke is really like OP again. Bruiser Luke is like a lot better again. You're locking Luke to play worse Daniel. Kind of spin. But Daniel kind of j just got hit though. This is a huge hit by the way. Like 0 0.3. And damage on R. Can't be OP because he's weak. Just like Sua. Right. Rucker will still be OP. I think Garnet will still be good too. Like the like the Garnet nerf wasn't like that big. Oh, uh, what was a Darko nerf? Five percent yeah, five percent and then this thirty damage on E, yeah, I think he'll still be fine. Always on this limbo of going full pen, realizing it's all in the full bruising. I don't know if cataclysm for her or who. It's actually crazy that they hit all the characters that were using cataclysm and they nerfed cataclysm too. Like, skaters are, 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 are gone, you know? <laughs> Not only did they hit every character, but they also nerfed like like the shit that's making them broken. It is a good patch, yeah. They got like every single uh every single like topic here. Like I think um nine out of ten. Demo doesn't really count because Demo You know, she's like her stats aren't like that high. She just has a high pick rate. Solid buff all around, solid buff. No sis nerf. I think they should have nerfed throw sis, but like sis stats are like, no one's playing her. They don't even look that good, honestly. They're like, yeah.
Want to play Garnett? Bro, Garnett's still fine. I don't think the nerf is that big. I think she's still going to be pretty good. I don't think she's going to be... Like, this is the this is the exact nerf I wanted for Garnett, I think. Where it's still going to be okay. It's not like a huge nerf, but she definitely needed like a nerf because I think she was like...